I'm going to show you how you can add your CAS experience in your Manage Bag. Log in into your Manage Bag account, and then under the menu, there is a year group, then CAS. Now, this is your CAS worksheet. Now, you can see that this is blank right now, and under that, you have the CAS experience. And then click, either click this button, which is add CAS experience, or in the right side, there's on top, there is also a CAS experience button. Now, uh, you don't need to add any group, leave it blank, then add in the experience name. So for this case, I'm going to put in the MUN for our school. Now, uh, if this experience is your CAS project, then check this che check bar. Uh, if not, then leave it blank. Identify the CAS strand, which is the creativity, activity, or service. In this case, I'm going to just choose it as a creativity. You can put it as a multiple if you wish. Now, uh, for if this this is a service service strand, you can uh, add in the direct, in, indirect advocacy or research. Now, since this is not a uh, service. I'm just going to leave it blank. Now for the approaches, I'm going to select it is a school base. Otherwise, it's going to be uh, ongoing, community based and individual. Now you choose the starting date. For this case, I'm going to choose it as the next week in a couple of weeks because you need to propose this one before initiating. And then for the end date, maybe I'll say on October 5th. Now, I'll put in the uh, put in your supervisor name, okay? Name, okay? Supervisor name, oh, and then their title, okay? Put in the email address, okay? For example, okay. Now, uh, and then if there is any contact information, just type it in. For this example, I'm going to put in the description for this event, okay, for this experience, and then the goal. So the goal should also be targeted in the learning outcome. So for example, I, I propose for this as a uh, collaborative and global engagement. When you are done, then you just need to click add CAS experience. Now, it will save on to this CAS worksheet. Now, if you decided to, to do some uh, editing job for this, uh, just click edit experience. Or if you don't like to this, to, to, for this one, you just delete the experience. Now, if you are done with this CAS experience, there is a CAS completion form, which is going to be downloaded and signed by your CAS supervisor. Okay, it's CAS supervisor. All right, I hope that this video helps you.